Alright, I'm going to talk about how uh, Nietzsche and Plato referred to the question of uh, how to become a true man in today's reality. So, in Nietzsche, there's three metamorphous stages that you go through. The spirit changes, to, it becomes a camel, and the camel becomes a lion, and the lion at last becomes a child. Alright, so the things that I want to talk about, so the spirit is, it's from a man and it, and uh, the camel, it's, it carries the heavy burdens, the, the camel is seeking and it wants to, it wants to carry these heavy burdens and and it goes through different challenges and it asks the heroes like what it asks them what is your heaviest burden so he wants to he basically wants to take on these challenges as what this is what a true man should do he should he should go out face the reality and he wants to take on his own challenges so we want we want to be the camel we want to be fully laden we want to carry, uh, carry our own burdens and pass those obstacles that come through our life. And uh, the lion, the camel turns into a lion. The lion is freedom. So we, when we're the lion, we, we're independent and we, we struggle for victory, which we do this every, every day in our lives. So we're free and we make our own choices. So that that's when we're the lion, and when you're to become a true man, you're not gonna go to your mom or dad, you know, to tell them to help you. You're going to you're gonna be that lion, take on your own path, be the camel, overcome your obstacles, make your own decision when you're the lion. Um, and then when you're the lion, in uh, Nietzsche, you fight the dragon, so. Basically, the dragon is, let's say, let's say you're uh, doing a job and you're working for someone. That person you're working for is the dragon, your boss. He tells you what to do, what not to do. Well, when we're the lion, we're trying to go from down here, higher and higher and higher, to basically try to get that position to be the dragon. So, and the lion has a sacred no and what else uh so we have to try to fight the dragon and overcome it and after we accomplish this and take that position when we beat the dragon that that's when we become a child and when we're the child it's basically it's like it's a rebirth a rebirth of everything so it's a new beginning rebirth it's like a it's like a, a blank slate so let's say like you did let's say you did buy it in high school you'd end up going to community college and you start off with a clean clean slate whatever grades you get there that's what the college you want to transfer to that's what they want to see so and when when you're a child that's this is you become a true man when like you forget everything that happened and like you just you just have to move on and go so when in real life we're the camel we carry the heavy burdens then we're, we're in the lion we're free we gotta go try to fight that dragon try to get into a higher position and then not let anyone boss us around and then after that we're the child rebirth, new beginning, and the child has a sacred yes. Um, Alright, so the way, so Plato, the way it's related to Plato is basically we're in this, we're in this cave and basically we don't, we do not want to be the marionette the puppet we don't want to be a puppet controlled by strings and let people controlling us we, we don't want that so to be ordinary to become a true man we have to be the person in plato 
who got who left the cave, who escaped the cave. And then that he and then like he was living in the shadows, the f- the fire and their sh- their shadows were the lies. And that's the only thing they saw. The, they all they saw was li- lies and they were in darkness. But then when when he escapes the cave and he's let free uh he, uh when he's let free, he's like the lion. So he's like the lion in Nietzsche and he's free, but when he left the cave, a, a light hits him, the sun, and he's never seen this light before. So he's kind of blind and he's dazzled. He doesn't know what to do, but then later on he gets used to it. And this, the light represents the truth. And this truth is, uh, there's many obstacles in the way. Like the, that, that sun, I think it relates to kind of, it also kind of relates to Nietzsche. When he says a line, he says, uh, when the challenge is for the camel, he says, to go into foul water when it is w- the water of truth and not avoid cold frogs and hot toads. So that kind of relates to Plato's light when the light hits you. Like, truth of water. That's the truth. You got to go go after the truth. And the cold frogs and hot toads, those are going to be the obstacles come in your way. The, the burdens. That's where you, you're the camel, and you just have to overcome those. And that's that's how you become a true man. you got to overcome these obstacles. A true man isn't someone who just, oh, tough guy, look at me. No, it's you got to be responsible. Take on your own challenges. you got to be responsible. So that light, when it hits him, he knows what the truth is, and then when that light hits him, he stops and he thinks that, like, oh, Oh my God! Like my other people, my other people in in the cave, I should go back for them so they could experience this. So like they they know that they've been living in lies. So what we want to do as a true man, we want to reach the truth. For me, like reach the truth, and then I get my tell my brother like what path he would take. Like I'm kind of the uh, the released prisoner going back for my fellow prisoners. So I would go back for my brother and my other siblings and show them like how to go on the path, the truth and like how to overcome your obstacles. Um, basically, to become a true man for Nietzsche, you have to be, take on your responsibilities, be heavy laden, overcome your obstacles, you have to be the lion at times. You got to be free, make your own decisions, fight that dragon if you have to, and then become the child, rebirth, clean slate, everything starts all over, fresh start, new beginning. And then that you got to you got to not live in your shadows. You got to you got to witness that light. And that light sets is setting you it it shows you the truth, like what's real, what's not real. And you got to go back for other people and lead them in the right direction with you so that this is how i think uh nietzsche and plato are referred to the essential question on how to become a true man in today's reality thank you